Hello everyone, you all are welcome back to our YouTube channel Esculenta Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Today we are gonna talk about carbohydrate and its applications in the food industry. Carbohydrates are the most widely distributed and abundant organic compounds on the earth. They have a central role in the metabolism of animals and plants. Carbon dioxide and water with the help of light energy is the basis for the existence of all other organisms which depends on the intake of organic substances with food. Carbohydrates are made out of carbon hydrogen and oxygen, exceptionally hydrogen. They are polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones. Common formula for the carbohydrate is CxH2ON. Here you can see an example for polyhydroxyaldehyde. Also here you can see an example for polyhydroxyketone. Carbohydrates can be classified according to their chemical structure. They are mainly three groups low molecular weight mono and disaccharides, intermediate molecular weight oligosaccharides, high molecular weight polysaccharides. Let's first see about monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are chiral polyhydroxyaldehydes and polyhydroxyketones. In chemistry, a molecule or ion is called chiral if it is cannot be superposed on its mirror image by any combination of rotations, translation and some conformational changes. This geometric property is called chirality. They are exist in cyclic hemiacetal form and monomeric in nature. They cannot be depolymerized by hydrolysis to simple sugars. They can be divided into two major groups according to whether they are a cyclic form possesses an aldehyde or keto group. Monosaccharides can be classified according to the number of carbon atoms in the molecule. Here you can see the name of the monosaccharide and names of aldose and ketose respectively. Here you can see aldose of the hexose monosaccharide is called as glucose and the ketose called as the majority of the naturally occurring carbohydrates have the D configuration. L monosaccharides are less abundant in nature. The D and L in the carbohydrates refers to the direction of the hydroxyl group of the chiral carbon furthest away from the aldehyde or cretone group phases. In D form, OH faces to the right side and in L form, OH faces to the left side. In monosaccharides, their physical structure can exist either as an open chain or a cyclic ring. The six-membered ring is related to tetrahydropyran and is called as pyranose. Tetrahydropyran or THP is the organic compound consisting of a saturated six-membered drink containing five carbon and one oxygen atom. The ring structure is more energetically stable and is more commonly in the case of glucose, 
fractals and ribose. There are two possible ring formations for these sugars known as pyranose and furanose formations. A five-membered ring can also be formed as the outcome of an intramolecular nucleophilic attack by the hydroxyl oxygen atom attached to C4 on the carbonyl group and hemiacetal formation. The five-member ring is related to tetrahydrofuran and designated as furanose. THF or tetrahydrofuran is an organic compound with the formula CH2-4O. The compound is classified as heterocyclic compound, specifically a cyclic ether. Here you can see the alpha D fructofuranose and beta D fructofuranose. The difference between alpha and beta glucose is nothing more than just the position of one of the four hydroxyl group. If we see the summary of monosaccharides, they are simple sugars that contain 3 to 7 carbon numbers. They all are having chiral center sweet in taste and soluble in water. So these are the very basic things that you should know about the carbohydrate classification and the monosaccharides. We will discuss each and every carbohydrate types and application in our future videos. So if you need any clarification please leave a comment. If you found this video useful, please give it thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this. Hope to catch you in next time and thanks for watching.